Five Below has some new craft kits out and today we're gonna to be testing out two and I have an awesome crafty find to share with you. The size of this box is a little deceptive because it really makes you feel like the planters inside are huge. However, upon opening, you see how teeny and cute they are. Well, okay, maybe not teeny, but they fit in the palm of your hand and I think they're absolutely adorable. I decided to open every single one of these packages on film just to check out the quality of them in the event that anyone wants to purchase them. They know that they're not gonna be crumbly and fall apart. And guess what? They're not. They're actually really nice. The turtle on the box is blue, which is adorable, but I decided to keep mine the traditional green and mix a little bit of white. So this way where the head and the feet and the little body, he's a lighter green than the shell. I will tell you that the paint is fairly translucent. You're gonna need to do a couple of coats and it's not a big deal if you decide that you want to switch out whenever you get kits and use acrylic paints, especially on ceramic pieces. I can't count the amount of ceramic pieces I've painted since I was a child and acrylic paint usually does a really good job. For the purpose of this video, I am trying and usually try to stick to the kits and what they offer as much as possible until things start to not work and then I gotta take measures into my own hands. It did take three coats for me to get to a color that I was happy with. And while the paint is fine, I decided to take matters into my own hands and grab some of my apple barrel paint and do the shell in the darker green. It literally only took me two coats and less time to get a color I was happy with. I flipped the paintbrush over and took some white on the end of it to make little dots all over our shell. I also painted the eyes and took glossy Mod Podge to put a sealer over this to make it look a little bit more like a planter. And I love how this little piece turned out. I am a huge fan of texture art. So when I seen this kit at Five Below, I could not wait to get it home and try it out. And crafter beware, this packaging, it means business. How much, how much tape do you need? And just when I thought the torture was over, it wasn't. Seriously? Now that that's over with, back to our regularly scheduled craft program. I'm sitting here talking to myself, reading to myself, making sure that I am going to be doing this correctly for your viewing pleasure. Now, basically you take the texture paste and you mix it with the paints. And that really has been the norm in anything that I've used texture with. I was excited to see what type of texture the stuff in this tube was because you can add different things to your paint like baking soda, cornstarch, and even spackling to get a really nice thick battery type paint. And truth be told, I was hoping it was kind of like a paste. So I started off with the blue. Since the majority of our canvas had blue, I took some blue and started mixing paints together. And well, <laughs> I didn't end up with the color I was hoping to get. And then to make it worse, it was so translucent. And okay, at this point I was like, maybe I should have added the texture paste, okay? Maybe I should have put it in there. So I grab the texture paste and I start mixing it. And in my defense, people, I didn't add in the texture paste beforehand because I wanted 
the design with the floral to kind of pop out and I wanted the background to be flat. And then as I'm trying to mix this stuff, I realized the container was entirely too small. So we had to get a big crafter bowl. And then I also decided to toss out the colors that they gave us because they were too light. And I went and grabbed my acrylic paints because I know for a fact that mixing these with textures, it turns out just fine and started smushing everything together. And I realized this is extremely liquidy. So I grabbed the directions again, just to make sure I'm doing this right. I mean, even if I'm using a different paint, it's still the same concept. And it even says you should be able to cover the numbers over with the paint. And honestly, look how translucent that is. <laughs> I didn't have time for how many of her layers it was gonna take me using that paint. When I was happy with the mix, I grabbed a paintbrush and decided to just go ham on the background. Can't really mess that up. I did notice that this texture was not thickening at all. It was still really, really thin. And that did worry me because we're supposed to be using these clay tools and scraping this stuff on here and even coming right out the tube. It's pretty liquidy all on its own. I let the background dry just a bit and then grabbed more of our texture medium, texture medium, okay. Squeeze it into our big crafter bowl and then mixed up some of their green with some of my green to create a green because the leaves in here had like two different tones the way that they're shaped. So we needed to make a lighter green to start. And then my friends, as I approach every DIY situation with my best foot forward, I attempted using the clay tool to scrape this stuff on here. It was very, very uneventful and not easy because it was extremely liquidy people in an effort to be as transparent as i possibly can it is the next day i just came down a termalites on this is completely dry it does feel a little gritty you feel me it does feel like there's something going on there isn't a lot of raised anything however this is what's bananas to me this stuff it is still wet and normal texture paste even texture paste that i make myself and use for projects that stuff dries within a couple hours always my goal in these types of videos is for you to have something to take away so in an effort to salvage this we're going to use some of my favorite texture paste mix it with some colors and we're going to create some flowers on here so at least this way, you might not be able to get the results you're hoping for with this exact kit, but you'll be able to take away the ability to create a textured canvas piece with the idea that this kit had in mind. I do have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description box for anyone that's interested in this texture paste, just in case you're watching this and you want to try using it. It's amazing. It is also non-toxic and I love the end result that this stuff gives. It also blends really well with acrylic paints. I also want to toss this out here that I am not a professional texture artist. So those of you that may have a lot of experience doing this, feel free to put information down in the comments. People are always looking to learn and grow and information that helps anybody on their DIY journey whenever it comes to crafting. I always appreciate that in my comments. And people, I have this really sped up as well because it took me well over an hour to actually do this. I was trying to make my design very close to the one that they provided in the box. It's not an exact, but I think I did okay. I took my time, I used the little tool and just spread out the texture, moving different colors around, moving the medium around until I was happy with the appearance. And if you've never done this before, it is trial and error, my friends. It is trial and error. It is cool to have a paint by numbers type canvas for this actual project. And Five Below even has other canvases with different designs. If you wanted to just pick up some canvases that already had pictures on them and then try creating your own texture art on them. It's not perfect, but I am extremely happy with how this turned out. 
My first impression of this piece I seen at five below is that we get to paint our own ceramic paint palette and brush. I paid no attention to the fact that right on the box it says paint is not included. However, upon further investigation, actually a paint palette with a brush and i'm like oh my goodness is paint gonna stick to this and ruin it so you know we had to try it i grabbed this little piece from dollar tree knowing that whatever i'm gonna do to it i'm probably gonna want to cover up these words so i'm going to just take some of my multi-surface paint and smoosh out a little bit right on this palette and then i just proceeded to use the paint to cover up some of the letters when I was happy with the coverage I had on these, I still had plenty of paint left on the palette. So I decided to take some of that paint and spread it around the palette. If you're anything like me, when you're done crafting, you're done. And sometimes you don't feel like cleaning your paintbrushes. You don't feel like cleaning up your paint. You just leave it alone. And the next day you come back and you're like, oh. Then you're forced to waste money and throw things away or spend a lot of time cleaning up things. So I thought if this was easy enough to clean after things had dried on it, that it might be a nice little craft item for us to have hoarding with the rest of our stash. I scratched it on up, it peeled off. I took a dry napkin to it and it was also coming off gently, adding water, it came off even better and easier now this wasn't a next day completely dry i let this dry for about 20 minutes but it was dry except for that big clump that was sitting in the center we initially poured on here i thought this little crafty item was so cool i just had to share it with all y'all thank you as always for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed everything and until next time bye